by being an engineer, everything started starting with an imagination. And then with having that Im imagination, you can change everything to reality. A rapturous welcome for the team from Afghanistan. Their visas rejected twice and only granted by the intervention of the U.S. president. They are going home, big winners. Mm -hmm. The girls won a silver medal for courageous achievement. That award recognizes teams who kept a positive attitude despite difficult circumstances. <laughs> در سرزمین من دختر نباید کنجکاو باشد بلکه باید خجالتی و آرام باشد. The Afghan Girls Robotics Team in Herat, Afghanistan is busy designing something completely different, much needed ventilators during the coronavirus pandemic. As the number of COVID-19 cases increase, we can't sit around waiting for other countries to come and help us. We should do something here so that the lack of ventilators is not felt in Afghanistan. We have to making sure that our younger generation have access to the tools and guidance to making a better Afghanistan, to become the next scientist, entrepreneur, and technologist. Our goal at Altium is to support the next generation of electronics designers. And so I'm always trying to find incredible organizations that are in alignment with that. That is how we were introduced to the Afghan dreamers. I just thought, that's an incredible effort that we have got to get behind. How are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, thank you. It's so nice to meet you. In August of 2021, we launched PCB The Chain Student Design Competition. And so we reached out and asked if that was something that they wanted to participate in, and they jumped right in. Traffic is a big uh, problem in Afghanistan and we are trying to solve that problem uh, and we use the operator modular to design a board for this project. We will add counters on the street and those counters will count the uh, cars that cross the street. And as uh, a street becomes more crowded, the duration of the red light will increase and the duration of green light will be decreased. The last American military planes have now left Afghanistan, marking the end of two decades of war. Major breaking news tonight, the fall of Kabul as the Taliban completes its takeover of Afghanistan. I'm so grateful and I thank from the Qatar government and the Qatar Foundation to support us to just uh, achieve our dreams and uh, continue participating in the competitions and build our robots. Was it difficult for you to leave Afghanistan, to leave your family, to leave your home? Uh. <laughs> we lived uh, at the first Herat city, then Kabul, and also we lived Kabul together. They are sad, they crying every day, but they are not hopeless. They want and be a hero to the other girls. Good morning, Samaya. Good morning. It's so, it's so good to see you. Yeah, we've been yes, worried yes. about you guys. We wanted to give up, but all of our team members tell to each other that we do not have to and we should not give up in any situation on, or any problem that we have our team we have the opportunity that we can be the representative of Afghan girls and Afghan women in the whole world and we have to raise their voices and fight for their rights. In this board uh, we use a Portenta 87 connector and also another parts like we use the pin headers, regulator and barrel connector and we hope that our project be so useful for the Afghanistan, especially in traffic server base. We're just amazed at, at who you people are and what you've been through and what you've accomplished and just bravo all the way around. We got the second position. Oh! So the Afghan dreamers won second and they were just elated that, they, that they'd won. It was wonderful to see their reaction.
uh, we appreciate you for uh, supporting us and we need more and more uh, help of the organizations like Adverter that have some online plans for this kind of education. We hope that uh, someday see Afghanistan peaceful and after graduating from university we will go to Afghanistan again and change the future of Afghanistan. We are going to go back to Afghanistan again. You know, we continue to work with them and we'll continue to provide them with free curriculum and tools really to help prepare them for their careers in the future. We want to be there for them. می خواهم تصورتان را از کشورم تغییر دهم. امیدوارم روزی برسد تا کودکان کشورم به جای صدای تیر و تفنگ صدای دلنشین پرنده ها به گوششان برسد.